Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to my hobby home. Welcome if you are new here, and welcome back if you're returning. I do appreciate each and every one of you for stopping by to see what I have going on. Well, let me just show you. Today, I got home to this. A huge box. Now, I haven't cut it yet, so it looks like I am going to have to uh, you know, do a little release program here for my my box. This is the Bella Rose Quilt Box um, Advent Box. I have never received this box. It was suggested to me from a viewer. And I thought, well, what better way to kind of sorry about that i bumped it with the box what better way to get acquainted with the box than to get their advent and this box did cost quite a penny uh it was two hundred dollars and then when they started getting them ready to ship it was an additional 25 dollars for shipping oh the box y'all is beautiful oh my goodness let me show you this is the box i don't know if you could see that because it is so big one moment i'm going to get the box out and i will turn you down so you can see it better i may not have to turn you down oh there's a bunch of stuff in there and y'all the back of it is just as cute so let me see if i can oh it says inspire learn create oh my goodness yes i'm gonna turn you down just for a hair so you can see what i've got going on trying to not get the lid in my light here okay here you will see we have our little letter it says dear quilting family Welcome to the very, oh, the first Bella Rose Quilts Advent Box. So we are getting on this very first year. Our wish is that these gifts bring joy to your holiday season. Many people participated in making this unique and special for you. Inside, you will find 12 Christmas presents just for you and 12 mystery clues. These gifts are to enjoy and in some cases push you past the boundaries of where you have always been. Beginning December 9th, they will start opening their daily gift on the Facebook page. Okay, it says gift one. I'm not going to read that. It says please read. I'm not going to read that. So let's see what this says. It says take one out each day. So I believe that is the quilt. So one second and I will turn you up and we will start unboxing. So guys, this box is beautiful on the inside. So let me, it says take one out a day. Okay, we have a Merry Christmas clue one for today. Oh, this is going to be something I have to do. So I need to find day one. Oh, y'all. Day one. Look at this. It does state day one does contain all the fabric for, for the, what does it say? To make a quilt or to complete the mystery quilt. So we have a mystery quilt. This is beautiful. Look at these pretty poinsettias. Okay. I'm going to try to slide the ribbon off so you can see all of these beautiful fabrics. I am going to turn you down. I've taken the ribbon off so you can see these fabrics, y'all. They are beautiful. Just one moment. Okay, here you will see our fabrics. I'm going to lay these open and show you the first ones that we have here that beautiful i don't know if this has salvage i don't see salvage on this but then we have this beautiful cardinal fabric look at those cardinals and then we have plenty 
I'm guessing this is going to be our background fabric. And then we have a little piece of what looks like grunge. I'm not sure what that is, but it is going to be part of our mystery quilt. Oh my goodness, and these are... Look at that beautiful green. Now what I'm going to do is fold these over one at a time so I don't mess up how they are. And you can see that beautiful poinsettia there. And what I'm going to do is just keep doing each one like this so you can see them really well. Beautiful Christmas trees. There's some uh, red birds, Christmas trees. That's real pretty fabrics there. And then we have the doves, like the peace doves here. We have some beautiful snowflakes here, or stars and snowflakes. I know I need to probably speed this up because <laughs> we've got a whole box of goodies to get through. Oh, look, it's like candy cane hearts with bows. And then we have green with dark green polka dots. Oh, and this is really pretty. These are Christmas trees with pink stars on them. Oh, y'all, this is Starberry. When I turn you back up, the quilt behind me is Starberry. This is some of Corey Yoder's fabrics. I have to say, I think this was my favorite Christmas line this year. Got some real pretty snowflakes here. And this is a poppy cotton. Now, I do like poppy cotton, too. They're, um, I have a, I'm doing a block of the month with poppy cotton. It's a poppy cotton uh, block of the month pattern. And then we have this pretty green. Okay. Now, I'm going to move that out of the way. Then we have these pretty, pretty little, looks like garlands, holly. Then we have plaids. These are our reds. Those must have been our greens. Oh, love the candy canes. Oh, that's a very soft muted color there. Not a bright. And then we have these scallops there again. Okay, then we have snowflakes, pine cones. It's really cute. Then our little red trucks that are upside down for you guys. Then our little boots that are in black and white plaid. Some stars and our poinsettias. Okay, so this is a nice fabric bundle. And this bundle is... It says it is enough to complete the mystery quilt. So we are probably going to be doing a mystery quilt at some point in time. So I am going to wrap this back up and then turn you guys up and we will continue with the next day. Okay, now we have our gift too. Y'all, I know what this one is, and I am so excited to get this. I do not have one, and I almost purchased one. I'm glad I waited. It is a quilter's clapper. It ha has Bella Rose quilts engraved in it a very nice heavy clapper so that is very cute so that is our day number two 
So now to find day number three. Here is our day number three gift. Cute little bags, y'all. Look at that. Look at those little Christmas trees. They are so cute. Oh, we get us a little candy cane. And this. I think I know what this is. <laughs> but not real sure. Okay. I actually have one of these. It's a mini sew organizer. Um, this takes one fat quarter to make. And that, that is cute, cute, y'all. And these are very, very handy. Very handy. So, mini sew on. And that's my um, sew organized design. I, I'm sitting here. I'm so fast and you're not even seeing it. It tells you on the back what you need to make this. And there's the front. It's a mini sew organized. So that is very, very useful. Now, on to day four. Here is my day four. I kind of know what it is because some of it's hanging out of it. So, our day four. Now, y'all, this is the very first Bella Rose Quilts Advent Box. Oh, okay. First, let me show you. This is by Moda Fabrics. It is a sewing notions bag. Look at that cute. It's got the snowflakes on it. And in that is seam align gentle hold fabric glue. Try to do it where it's not got a glare on it. I've never used fabric glue. But I'm not, I don't have anything against using it. I've used that glue in a stick. So that, that's the extent of fabric glues that I have used. Okay, so onward to five, day five. Now, y'all, if this box is just not, look at there. Oh, well, you can't really see it. It's glittered. And it says Merry Christmas on it. A very beautiful little bag. I love bags. I love Christmas gift bags. I think they're so pretty. I always have glitter everywhere with my gift bags because they're just all glittery all over. So, okay. We're taking our paper off the top. Oh, y'all. This is exciting. This is an Aria and Ava quilt. It is called Santa Baby. Now, I'm going to tell you this. The um, first shop hop, virtual shop hop that I did, their pattern was an Aria and Ava. And I couldn't figure out how to cut the fabrics. But, this looks like Kitty Christmas. Okay, so we've got some solid pieces here. This is Kitty Christmas. I don't know who this one is. Um, Snuggle Up Buttercup is what it says. So this is apparently going to be fabrics to do that Santa baby. So we've gotten two patterns. And fabrics, we've got another solid peach pink color there. We have a light gray with gray dots. See if it's got selvage on it. No, it's just got a, it does have selvage, but it's just no writing. And then, this must be for the Santa beer. It's um, fleece. Okay, so guys, so now we've got two projects. Oh, this is exciting. Exciting. I'm so excited about this. So now our next bag is our day six. Okay, our day six is this cute little box. What can be in this? 
Oh my goodness. Let's open the box and see. I'm gonna take the string off, see what it is. This is very, I think we've actually made one of these. Sweets and Stitches by Judy Hawkinsmith. Okay. Looks like a little ornament that zips. Oh my goodness, y'all. And there is something in it. Let me see. It looks like this is a little zipper. Whoops. You could put this on the zipper. I've got to get it straight because it was in that little pouch. And Isn't that cute? Cute little ornaments. And see, it's a little zipper pouch. This makes cute little ornaments. I'm going to use both of those as ornaments on my tree back here. Y'all see my little tree? It has one ornament on it. One ornament. But that is okay because now it's going to have three. We're going to put three on there. So next is our day seven. Okay. Here is our Bella Rose Quilt day seven of our advent. It's cute wrapping. Man, they really took some time and care in doing this. I mean, who, who would have thought? Okay, so I wanted to show you. I'm opening it here. Somebody wraps really beautiful, too. Everybody has one of these. Oh, my goodness. If it is this color, this is my color. Oh, my my goodness. Yeah, I'm throwing that on the floor because I don't need it. Look at this. Got you an insulated cup here. Take you a cold or a hot beverage in somewhere. Felt like I'm too far down. <laughs> but look, it says Bella Rose Quilts on it. I love this. I love the pink. I love the flowers. I love that. So now we are going to do day eight. Okay, y'all. This is gift eight. And look at that. This is not the cutest little bag. The bag doesn't want to stand up because whatever's in it is pretty heavy. I wanted to see if I can get... My goodness, y'all. Oh, my goodness. A table topper and the fabric my 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 oh my goodness y'all this is just stunning look at that has the some fabrics that go with it this bag is this box is well worth the 200 got that fabric And then it looks like we have some jelly roll strips. Um, we've seen this fabric already in the some of the previous gifts. There are a few strips that may be different. But gosh, y'all just come along with me and you'll get to see it because it's very likely I'm going to make this quilt, <laughs> this table topper, because this is beautiful. But... This is our day eight. I'm going to slide it back in there. So that's a table topper. I didn't think to tell you the size of the table topper. Honey bun friendly, additional sizes within 20 inch diameter table topper. Now the other quilt that we had, the baby Santa baby um, Pillow 22 by 22, lap 60 by 79, queen 79 by 98, and a bonus table runner on that one. Okay, so day nine. Let's find day nine. Okay, here is our gift nine. Got some beautiful little, got some beautiful paper in there with that. Oh my goodness. Who does not need Eat Sleep Quilt 
and I think you may say repeat, no, eat, sleep, and quilt. These are socks by Moda. These are so fun. I love Christmas socks. In our family, we always uh, put socks in the stockings. <laughs> Fuzzy socks, funny socks. Oh my goodness. Dark and white chocolate peppermint bark. So we got us a little sweet treat as well. Something to warm our feet and fill our bellies. So I love socks. Love them. So now we're going to day 10, our gift 10. Our gift 10 is in this beautiful little red bag. And you know, if I'm going too fast, I'm so sorry. There are so many things in here and I don't want this to be too long for you guys. Oh my goodness, look, a Merry Christmas little tin is by Moda. It says Kathy Holden with Moda. Oh, we get a thing of thread. Let me see, is that, it is Aurifil. That is Aurifil thread. Okay, it doesn't say anything else on it really. And then we get some Bowen needles. And I just had to go buy some of these the other day, but yeah, those are small needles too. So, but got a cute little box there. And that cute little bag. Y'all, isn't that the cutest? I love that metallic top drawstring. Okay, so on to day 11. This is our gift 11 pretty Christmas tree. Y'all, they have some of the prettiest packaging here that they are using. So, it comes out looking like this. Let's see. We're unwrapping. I see some things in it. Okay. This is called Bear Roots Merry Christmas Stitchery. Right here, I'm looking to see if that looks like embroidery, like hand embroidered. I may not be able to do that one, but that is very cute. Very, very cute. I love, I love that. Let's see, it says Merry Christmas and one says Joy to the World. So, so cute. So let's get to day 12 now. Here is our day 12 of the Bella Rose Quilt Advent Box, the first ever Advent Box. This is a box I will very likely do again. I love this. So many projects. It says, thank you for being an amazing customer. I'm not quite sure what this is. Y'all tell me what this is. That's hard. So it is not a... Looks like something would go in there. I may have to follow them on Facebook to see what this is. I'm not quite sure what that is. It has a hole in the bottom of it. It's pretty heavy. Not sure. It's probably something that I've, I've not come across before. But, yeah, this is really, really cute. This is a very nice box, uh, Advent box. There are three, well, actually four projects if you count the stitch project four projects and some great little notions from this box guys thumbs up for this box love love this box um the only thing that i think i would not use is the stitchery and i don't know what this is yet it may be something I'd use, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I know I went through things really fast, but I didn't want to take too long on this for you guys so y'all could see everything in it because I did get a comment about my other box being too long. But you know, I opened 25 packages. This was only 12. So guys, thank you so much once again for joining me. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I do try to respond to each and every comment personally. And as always, until I see you again, I hope you have a very blessed day and a very Merry Christmas. Goodbye. <music>